there's plenty more lovely jubbly where that came from in these cushy BBC videos chronicling the early misadventures of Rodney, Delboy and Grandad in downtown Peckham. So why not pick up one? You know it makes sense. They bought it! All right, gang! Way to go! From Steven Spielberg, a story of love <laughs> and lousy plumbing. It's going to be fun fixing it up. You'll see. A house with potential for disaster. Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's riotous comedy, The Money Pit, next Saturday at 6.30 on One. A halcyon summer. She's weird, this one. Definitely weird. A dangerous encounter. <laughs> you think murder was funny? <laughs> never loved anyone like I love you. Falling in love can be a dangerous thing. Ruth Rendell's thriller, A Fatal Inversion. Tomorrow, 5 past 9, BBC One. An evening of wet and windy weather programmes is about to begin over on BBC Two. Here on BBC One now, the moment you've been waiting for. A veritable banquet of musical fare hosted by Terry Wogan. The 1992... Eurovision Song Contest. Welcome to the pleasure dome of Malmö, Sin City of Sweden. Sea girt siren of the Skagerrak. Or is it the Kattegat? Full to bursting of old salts who can't get a drink, and people who've had a heart attack at the prices of the hotel minibars. Malmö, third city of Sweden, home of a hardy seafaring warrior race, now more famous for open sandwiches and tennis players who live in Monaco and throw wobbly. We're taking an animated trip here from Rome, which was the scene of so much unhappiness last year, to Malmö. Malmö, home and heart of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. And for why? What in heaven's name brings us here? It's well you know that last year Sweden won the contest, but captured by a love storm sung by Carola. What do you mean you've forgotten? You'll be reminded before very much longer Scenes, scenes of Scandinavia and Sweden. Don't ask me to describe them to you because I have no idea where or what this is apart from a sunset or possibly a sunrise. Anyway, it's a different story this year, this year. It's our turn or there ain't no justice. This year, the United Kingdom entry is plangently sung by the West End, Broadway, and pop chart superstar Michael Ball. And if we don't win, I'll play a pickled herring. And if you think that's a poor bet, we've just taken out a third mortgage here in the commentary box on a bottle of sparkling water. These pretty pictures are of Skania, the province of southern Sweden, far famed for forests and rolling hills and the odd deer, beaches, Smorgasbord, Spitakaka, a sweet cake with which we were all presented on arrival, caviar, which doesn't look, taste, or in fact isn't caviar. Malmo is the principal town of Scania, a great and historic port, a city of parks and canals and old buildings, and unruffled people whose idea of a high old time is a quiet evening at home. Malmo is not a place you come to for street life. 
Now, I'm sure you're going to be impressed by the professionalism and polish of tonight's presentation by the Swedish TV service. Well, someone from the Irish delegation said they found it a bit predictable and boring after last year. I think what he meant was that he missed the rusty steel sheets that covered the commentators' boxes and the splendid air of laissez-faire that hung over last year's Italian production. Most, of course, were missing Toto, last year's master of ceremonies, who, who fashioned a new benchmark for Eurovision presenters with his flair and poise and general air of let the good times roll. He certainly lifted what might have been an, an ordinary contest into the realms of the surreal. Nothing like that tonight. We've got Lydia and Harold. It's like a title for an old American sitcom. Incidentally, it's here in Malmo that England will play their preliminary matches in the European Cup football finals in the summer. In the stadium that's part of this great sport and leisure complex on the outskirts of the city. Eurovision tonight is being staged in the Ice Stadium, more frequently home to Malmo Ice Hockey Team, Sweden's champions. Tonight we'll see 23 countries buy for the Grand Prix, the Blue Ribbon of Song, in this the 37th running of the Eurovision Song Contest. Here they are, the Malmo Flickerna. Girls from Malmo. What else? Currently treating us to a ribbon dance. To the sparkling rhythms of the song that brought glory yet again to Sweden last year, when Carola won the contest for them with Fanga Dolphin Sturmbind. Close enough. Captured by a love storm. <laughs> 